Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you for uh, making space in your life this extra weekend after the snowstorm last Friday. We really appreciate having you here. And uh, for those of you who have not been here before, this is Ava Gallery and Art Center. We're a nonprofit. Um, it is our 40th year. We're celebrating our 40th year of working to support and encourage and challenge artists in the Upper Valley and the artists of Vermont and New Hampshire. I hope that all of you young artists here will count yourselves among the artists in our region because you're making fabulous work and it is our pleasure and our honor to be able to celebrate what you've achieved with this exhibition. So thank you very much. Uh, I want to bring to your attention really quickly um, as you're moving through the space tonight, you'll find that there are programs, right? This, they're white, these white sheets, they're located on all the tables and the chairs. Please grab one for yourself. All of your names are listed. 173 beautiful artworks. Congratulations to all of you. Please take this home. Remember what a wonderful thing that you've done. At many of those locations, you'll also find these yellow sheets. They're little, they're little half sheets. These are um, opportunities for teens coming up at Ava in the spring and in the summer. And among them, I do want to bring your attention to a few. Um, we have three-dimensional digital modeling classes with Autodesk Maya on the computer. We have oil painting, expressive drawing. We have a food and public art murals project. We have the second annual uh, Greg Hamburger Sustainable Architecture Workshop that has its own little piece here. If you're interested in architecture as a career, this is an exceptional opportunity for you. We have also coming up for the first time a, a program called Micro Macro, which is funded by a grant, um, partially funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation. Those of you who are interested in the intersection of art and science, another tremendous opportunity. Those of you who are also interested in, in pursuing a career in the arts, I would encourage you to look into uh, camp assistance which is a position that we have here, and also internships. So in the next six months, there are many ways for you to continue on your path to be an artist. We hope that Ava can be a part of that, and we look forward to having you pursue that with us. So parents probably too, look for these yellow sheets. We'd love to see you. Some really quick thank yous. I just want to say this um, opening reception is made possible through the donations of, of a number of local businesses. And so really quickly, um, Ken Davis designed the postcard that, that many of you received. We have um, Lebanon Floral and Plants, who's given a centerpiece. Paulette Werger, metalsmith, designed the, the um, medals we'll be giving out. CNA's Pizza in Hanover, Cantori's Pizza in West Lab, EBA's in Hanover. Pizza Hut in West Leb, Price Chopper from West Leb, Ramuta's Brick and Brew in Hanover, and Ziggy's Pizza all donated all of this food for everybody. So thank you to, to all of that. I'd like now to um, introduce Margaret Jacobs. She's Ava's exhibition coordinator, and she will be presenting the honorable mentions, and also another little quick shout out to volunteers. So the annual high school exhibition is always so fun um, to see come together. The creativity and the artwork is superb and the community support is really overwhelming. And we really wouldn't be able to do it without the many volunteers and interns who are essential to making this exhibition possible. And so with that said, also Adam mentioned this, if any teens are interested in volunteering or learning about camp assistant and internship opportunities, um, make sure you pick up one of the yellow sheets or ask any one of the staff members. We're usually wearing red lanyards. Um, so I would now like to say thank you to the fallen people for all of their help um, just in setting up the exhibition. Kayla Gilbert, Rich Fedorchek, Jim Schweitzer, Mary Jane Gerdzel, Francesca Gabriel, Catherine Stearns, um, and Mimi Kirby. Also, thank you to Michael Kratz. He's over there in the back. 
who chose this year's award winners. Michael had some tough decisions to make with 173 artworks to choose from, and he did a really wonderful job. So we'll start with the honorable mentions. When you hear your name read, please come up to be recognized for your work. Uh, don't leave the podium until Kayla has gotten your picture. And please excuse any errors in, errors in pronunciation. So from Hartford Area Career and Technology Center, Cody Blake. Cody won the honorable mention in digital art, and the digital art was sponsored by the Doris Malika Fund of the Rotary Club of Lebanon. <laughs> From Newport High School, Jordan Boutwell. Jordan won an honorable mention in photography, and the sponsor was Quichi Country Store. From Hartford High School, Kristen Deutsch. Kristen won an honorable mention in uh, Best Sculpture, and that was sponsored by Cool Snow Globes. From Sharon Academy, Leah Forbes. Leah won an honorable mention um, for best drawing, and that was sponsored by the Defiance Electric Crossover and Leading Edge Design Group. From Rivendell Academy, Christian Knowlton. Christian won the honorable mention in uh, ceramics, and that was sponsored by Goss Logan Insurance Agency. From Hanover High School, Kyle Newman. Uh, Kyle won the honorable mention for best wearable art, and that was sponsored by Jenny Snyder, Coldwell Banker, Red Path and Company. From Lebanon High School, Rachel Pollard. Rachel won the honorable mention for best painting, which was sponsored by Mescoma Savings Bank. From Hanover High School, Alexis Williams. Alexis won the honorable mention for best printmaking, which was sponsored by the Schuster Buttery and Wing. Uh, And from Rivendell Academy, Stacy Wright. <laughs> Stacy got the honorable mention for Ava's Jurors Recognition Award. So I'd now like to invite Kelly Crossett from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science to present the VINS Award to the artwork with the most compelling environmental message.
Hello everyone. Uh, I want to thank Adam and Ava and all of you guys for having me here tonight. It was a real treat. Um, it's great to see all these artworks. It reminded me of when I was younger and my favorite mediums were um, clay and film. Um, so I'm a little bit biased in that way, but um, there's so many great pieces here today that really um, touched me and brought a lot of different messages to me. Um, there's so many uses of recycled material, so many uses of natural pigments. Um, are really great to see in pieces of um, art. Um, so again, it was really hard. <laughs> so I had three here. Um, I wish I had like 50. <laughs> it would have made my job a little bit easier. Um, okay, so first one up is um, Rachel Pollard from Lebanon High School. And I have Marguerite Dakin, I hope I pronounced that right, um, and I believe she's from South Royalton. Union High School. Okay, well, congratulations, everyone. Great job. It's all beautiful. Thank you. So just to remind everyone, you have done such a fabulous job, and congratulations to all of you for being included in the show. Congratulations to all of your art teachers for working so hard with you and um, for helping to make this exhibition possible. So thank you all. Um, we will now give the awards for um, the best in categories. And Callie Covell, please come on up from Hartford Area Career and Technology Center. And Callie, Callie has won the um, Quichi Country Store Award for Best in Photography. And Hunter Crow. Is Hunter Crow here from Lebanon High School? Hunter has won the Goss Logan Insurance Agency Award for Best in Ceramics. Congratulations. Thank you. Josh Graber. Is Josh Graber here from Thetford Academy? Josh has won the Cool Snow Globes Award for Best Sculpture. And Lindsay Lanworley from Kimball Union. Lindsay. Lindsay is not here. Um, she won the Jennifer Snyder Coldwell Banker Red Path and Company Award for Best Wearable Art. <laughs> Forrest Mattern for Hartford High School. Eva Gallery and Art Center Jurors Recognition Award. Okay. Okay. All right. 
nailed that one. You can. Is Nikita Murano here? Nikita? No, I'm not here tonight. Um, Nikita won the Mescoma Savings Bank Award for Best Painting. I'll save that for her. And Colton Orr. And Colton from the River Arts Program has won the Doris Malika Fund of the Rotary Club of Lebanon Award for Best of Digital Art. And Aaron Robinson from Thetford Academy. Aaron has won the Schuster Buttery and Wing uh, and Wing Award for Best Printmaking. Congratulations! <laughs> and Kachin Shabel from Woodstock Union. Is Kachin here? Kachin has won the Defiance Electric Crossover Inc. and Leading Edge Design Group Award for Best Drawing. So congratulations to everybody. Thank you all. Congratulations to all of you on all of your hard work. You're exceptional young artists. Stick with it. We hope to see you again soon. And if, if you have not been upstairs, so that you all know there is another exhibition going on upstairs with artwork from students from the Geisel School of Medicine. So, thank you. And have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend.